Welcome to the presentation on configuring Netgear ReadyNAS and Acronis Backup and Recovery 10. This presentation will guide you through the steps required to configure both a ReadyNAS and a Cronus to work together to provide a simple backup solution. ReadyNAS storage ranges from 1 terabyte to 24 terabytes, making it the ideal storage platform for most backup solutions. Acronis uses network attached storage such as ReadyNAS as a location for all its backups. This technique is known as vaults. ReadyNAS and Acronis can be configured in two different ways to provide backup vaults. Firstly, Acronis can be configured to use ReadyNAS as a central vault. This requires a dedicated Acronis storage node server, but greatly improves the performance of backup storage by using deduplication. The second method is known as a personalized vault. This does not have the same efficiencies as a centralized vault, but nor does it require a dedicated server. Today, we are going to look at the steps involved in configuring a centralized vault. Firstly, we log on to our ReadyNAS. We do this by entering the IP address backslash admin in any web browser. We can then click on the volume tab to see how much free space we have for backups. We then click on the Security tab to add a new user dedicated to Acronis Backup. In this case, I've named my user Acronis. When creating passwords for an account such as this, make sure you choose a strong password. When you've entered all the settings, click Apply and the user will be created. Next, we need to create a share dedicated as the vault. Click the Shares tab and then click Add share. Enter the name for your share. In this case, I've chosen Acronis underscore vault. It's important to untick public access. This will limit access to this share where your important backups will be housed. Once you've finished naming the share, click apply and the share will be created. We will now customize the permissions on the share. Click share listing. You will notice the share appears in the list. We then click on the SIFS icon to change the permissions on the share. Firstly, we set the default access to disabled and then we add read write users and enter the name Acronis. This will give our Acronis user access to this share. We have now completed all the steps required to configure a share for Acronis. Next, we need to log on to our Acronis server to configure Acronis to see this share as a vault. Open the management console for Acronis and enter the IP address of your Acronis backup server. Enter the username and password with permissions to manage this Acronis server. In the Acronis Management Console, click on the Vaults option. Then click Centralized. Click the Create button to create a new vault. Enter the name you would like for this particular vault. In this case, we name it ReadyNAS Pro. Select the type Managed. And then in the Path option, click Change. Enter the path of your ReadyNAS by entering backslash backslash the IP address of the ReadyNAS backslash the share name, in this case Acronis underscore vault. Click the green arrow and enter the username and password we created earlier. This will give Acronis access to this share. Once the share appears, Click OK to continue. Click Change on Database Path. Create a new folder and give it a name. Click OK again to continue. Set deduplication to On. This will greatly enhance the efficiencies of your backups. 
Then once again click OK. Acronis now recognizes your ReadyNAS as a vault. This means you can back up all your data to the ReadyNAS in deduplicated format. As you can see here, our ReadyNAS has 4 terabytes of free space available for any backup jobs or policies we create. This concludes the presentation on configuring Netgear ReadyNAS and Acronis Backup and Recovery 10. For more information on this and other solutions, please visit netgear.com.